guys, Mr. Alada Belaz here, Aaron Freddy Fredericks, with my golf course reviewing mate, Ricky. <laughs> we didn't do a proper intro, Ricky. Ricky's my mate. We review courses together. We're at Wood End Golf Club today in, believe it or not, Wood End. Yeah, nah, it's good. And uh, it is really, really hilly. Soft, cold, but very pretty as well. If you got, if it was warm, it would be real pretty. Brilliant, yeah. 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 So, anyway, I hope you enjoy the watch and like, subscribe, and I can't remember what you want to add. Nah, that's good. my golf. <laughs> it's my golf. One thing we have noticed so far, we're going to the fourth. It is very, very soft underfoot. I hit a drive, a cracking drive, 169 meters. Oh yeah, big dogs look out. <laughs> there is like, the greens are hard and the fairways are soft. So I'd rather it the other way because then I could go long and I could get it to stick. But anyway, uh, it is very pretty though. I'll give you a tip. Good. <laughs> Just teed off in the fifth. Ricky and I literally both missed and were that close. Are we both that bad or both that good? Both that good. Both that good. <laughs> both. Yeah. Good. It's all you got to walk up a hill. <laughs> Flip a bucket. <laughs> oh, Crazy. This hole looks like we're walking to heaven. Where is the hole? There. Up there somewhere. It's just where do you go? You just drop off the face of Earth. The fifth. Interesting. The Ricky Bomber. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's the green. It's a long, 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 long way down. We're on the 11, part three, 164 meters, but yeah, like essentially, what's the 60 meters down? Yeah, at least. That's crazy, what a cool, what a totally cool hole. Lots of air time on this one. Yeah, and a long way walk down, and then a long walk back up, because there's another tee box just here. Just there. Yeah, <laughs> get a bit of a cap there. Oop. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <You're gonna do that. laughs> oh, that's better. Got the wind. 
Short. Short. And fell, just stopped yep. dead. Dead. Super windy now. That's what happens when you hit from way, way up. Uh, a plug. And as you can see, back up the hill, that's back where I teed it off. Up, you can see through the middle of those trees. Crazy, but super cool. Seriously, a very, very pretty green. Terrible to get at, horribly wet, but it is very picturesque. Ricky didn't know he was on camera. And then it goes this massive hole. Very cool. Probably going to be windy, so I'm talking louder. Now, the flag up there is about two thirds of the way up of where we just hit down from for the par three. So, big drive as you just saw down that sort of tree core, uh, tree shoot. Now we're going to go all the way back up. The good news about this one now, though, is it does have a good backstop, which a lot of these holes do not. Let's see. It's really, really windy, but it is so steep, there is a rope pull to pull you up. I can't get Ricky, it's too steep. I'm gonna drag my cart up. <laughs> Here we go. Actually, I can't hold the camera at the same time. Wish me luck. This video really does no justice as to how steep this is. course is not for the faint-hearted, according to my heart. <laughs> Tough, but I'll tell you what, good news. Okie dokie, we've just finished Wood End Golf Club and it was fun, I reckon. Yeah, definitely. As a club, now I've said this word a lot about experiences, I think this is a great golf experience because everywhere you go, there's really nice vistas. the low holes because what wood end is is essentially built on a hill yes. <laughs> hills and valleys yeah so you start off below or actually you don't because even the second we're going straight up hill. Yeah. yeah so then they've used it really well like it, there's no bunkers zero no. bunkers on this course there's we basically agree there's like really one hole that has a bit of water and it's really just a drain that they put rocks in down on that one yep. and the other one that has water on the side you'd have to be really bad to have that in play. 
<laughs> you didn't hit it in there. I didn't hit it in there. He no. did hit it into a drain pipe, which is impressive. So we haven't actually convert talked about what we're gonna give it. No. So I'm gonna give it a five iron. And I'm a four. Ooh! Like I said, I thought it was really good. Um, the only downside, which I actually don't think Spudan's golf fault, is that it was really, really wet underfoot and muddy. Yes. Like, my shoes have never been this muddy. My buggy's never been this muddy. There were some parts of the course which were just muddy, 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 which we've had a bit of rain. Yep. It happened. So I think playing it in summer, what it meant, though, is it hurt my driving stats, which, you know, as you know, I'm a little sensitive about 200 metres, and I couldn't. One drive was 135. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of plugged. There's, yeah. there's no run on yeah. a lot of these uh, yeah. fairways. And there's some undulation. A uh, little bit. Yeah. Uh, so for the 18 holes, my uh, GPS tracker is saying we climbed a total of 56 flights of stairs, uh, 168 metres of elevation gained. Yeah. And most of that's when you're aiming for it and then coming back down. Yes. And aiming for it. That 11th hole, when you're hitting it down, easy 60 metres. Oh, down, easy. Like, easy. Awesome. So much fun. Like, how is that not fun? And then you got it. Hitting up's way harder, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, at a few clubs. Yeah, yeah. And then you're like taking off heaps of clubs. It was 155 metres and I nearly got it with a nine iron. <laughs> It was that high, and then you're going up and you're hitting it 130 metres with a three hybrid to try and get it up the hill. It's just yep. a crazy course. Course management is really important. But as an experience, it is super fun. It's $30. It's worth a shot. Absolutely. Any closing thoughts? Just have fun and <laughs> your legs <laughs> will thank you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We'll be sleeping in tomorrow. Yep. Been Mr. Relatable Oz. And my good mate, Ricky Paul. You guys watch, subscribe, like, give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you next <laughs> week. The wind's getting up. Cheers. See ya.